time, Fantasy Star Online 2, in case you needed some form of hint on that. Um, yeah, so Episode 5 just came out. I'm, I'm actually kind of sad about that because I'm working on a review of this and I've had to amend it so many times just to cover all of Episode 4. It's, uh, it's discouraging, but... Hero Class is now available, so we're going to experience what this is. And uh, we, we probably need to get out of here before I get hit by copyright claim for the music from Sakura Tizen. Anyway, um, it should be noted the player shop is currently unavailable, and I'm level 1, as you can see. I don't have a lot of weapon choices. I literally, literally had to go to the weapon shop and buy a level 1 weapon. So we're, we're not doing super great. But on the bright side, if we go to the rewards... Boom! Level 28 instantly because I'm now a hero. Now, if you want to be a hero, well, you got to get two classes up to level 75, so it might be a bit tough for you. But, I do also have a couple of EXP tickets, which will get me up to 31. Not bad. And that might mean I can actually equip something else. Oh, cool. Okay, so hero class, from what I can tell, is... Uh, it's the first of the three, although four is coming in Japan, Scion classes, as they're called in English, although they were called successor classes in Japanese. These are sort of like rewards. Basically, you need to get two classes up to what was the cap at the time, which was 75, now it's 90. I think that's mostly because the North American version is really, really, really unbelievably patchwork. But what can you do? Um... And from what I can tell, this is sort of like a combination, at least equipment-wise, of Gunner, Hunter, and uh, Tetcher. Although, conceptually-wise, it's more like Hunter, Force, and Ranger, from what I can tell. I, I haven't played a lot of these successor classes in Japanese. So what we're probably going to do, I think, is we're just going to run some very, very basic expeditions. And we're just going to see what these abilities are. I can't even do super Oh, man, that's depressing. Alright, well... At the very least, we'll, we'll go to um, Harukatan, because at least it's pretty. And we'll we'll get ourselves some experience. Because I want to see what this is all about. I've, I've only got the basic stuff. Like I said, I was level 1. I had to buy a level 1 sword to test this out. But uh, we'll see what we can do. I, I'm really anxious to hop back on my bouncer just to cap it out at level 90 now. <laughs> but uh, what can you do? Okay, uh, I'm going to summon some friends just because I'm going for titles, Azanami and Enga right now for the 100 team. And well, I might not have the Fantabulous, Fantabulous, anything better than the sword I have. I do have the Very Sexy Apocalypse skin, so there is that. Now let's see. Okay, so our ability is shooting things a whole bunch. Not used to that, mainly because I'm a bouncer and that's supposed to be able to avoid stuff. Although that sword swing is a lot faster than I'm used to. I think Hunter's natural sword swing is a little bit slower. Let's see what our other attacks are. So we got a... That's that's a little bit like the Hunter's uh, wide swing as well. Okay, I can get used to that. Alright, that's a little bit like the cross slash on the bouncer. I don't know what to do with that, and I don't know what that last one is. So let's just run a quick mission, and we'll see what we can do. And uh, hopefully, we'll at least gain a rudimentary understanding of how this new class works. Because uh, I'm excited to give this a shot and see how this goes. Mainly because I'm actually not that familiar with Hero. Like, I, I've been playing a lot of PSO2... But I never bothered with Hero, because in the Japanese version, while I capped my main class, I never felt the need to cap my subclass, because I already had my main class up to where I needed it to be, you know? It would just... It, it made sense to stick with what I had. To me, anyway. But now that I'm in English, I, I just kind of want to test everything. That, and I really, really, really want the second subs, uh, successor class, which is Phantom, which is like the greatest uh, support subclass you can get. From what I understand, anyway. Kind of like in the flow to this. It's it's fast-paced combat. I like that. I do like that swing. Okay, now we got some points. Let's see what... Uh, okay, so it's sort of strafe dashing. That's somewhat like a less controllable version of the bouncer's special ability. 
the, the uh, evasive dash that does damage that I like a lot. That isn't bad, but you have no real control once you pick the direction. You're just sort of going in a straight line. Okay. Well, I, I can get behind that, I guess. I'm just going to keep smacking things here, and we'll see what we can do about it. So, so far, it seems okay. Actually, 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 I also have a twin machine gun. Curious about something. Uh, equipped weapon, we'll go back to the twin machine gun, see if they got any extra moves. They do seem to get different moves. Interesting. So, let's, let's chuck the the these on this thing and we'll see what we can do with this mostly out of curiosity more than anything okay basic attack is oh you can move while you do this oh that's that's kind of sexy although it does seem to slow down as time goes on interesting and because we're not playing we're not playing as ah oh, wow I'm, I'm doing terrible because we're not playing as gunner anymore we don't have the really really fun flippy move that gets you out of all the trouble also it eats through your PP really quick to do your basic attack and then right bumper your class specials like a reload okay I can get behind that okay um my alt that's mainly a gunner is probably going hero just to mess with this for a little while I'm gonna say that right now oh that's cool okay so that's that's sort of like that um, slow moving uh, what, what's it's that good old, good old gunner has that little, like, slow movie, bullet timey fun move. I kind of like that. There's a lot of dashing with this. This is fun. I'm thinking I, I might have to try this on my gunner just to play around with the twin machine guns a little bit. Should also be worth noting, I don't have my, uh, armor equipped. <laughs> Again, I was level one. I don't think right now I can even equip my Whittle stuff. Let's see if we can. Uh, yes, I can equip my Whittle Garden. Damn straight I'm going to equip my armor. <laughs> First of all, it's damn sexy. Second of all, that's how you know I'm a freaking hero in this game. I've got over 500 titles. <laughs> Actually, I've got closer to 600, and there's a bonus for that, so that's exciting. Uh, you know, I, I really do appreciate how quickly they update this game. I'm hoping this chapter isn't being given away story-wise piecemeal like episode 4 was, because I found that to be annoying for a lot of reasons, but... This is fun. I, I'm actually quite enjoying the swapping between abilities. Hero might be a pretty decent class. The thing about it you gotta understand, though, and as I understand it's pre-applied in the English version, is because it required basically three classes in the Japanese version, this, this is basically like the equivalent of three classes of stats in one class. And they felt that that was way too OP, so they nerfed the ever-living crap out of it. And that might be a problem. I'm curious how Talus plays, because I'm not a mage type of player. But if I ever picked a mage weapon, it probably would be Talus, just because I think it's such a unique weapon. Like, when I had to play Tetra, I, I did play Talus just because I thought it was peculiar a weapon. Okay, so what do we have here? I don't want that dash. What? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's see if I understand this. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I'm going to open up my weapon palette real quick. Uh, swap back to the sword. Uh, on the right bumper, you see that little, like, uh, blue, like, recycling icon type of thing? That means I'm actually going to swap to my ranged weapon. So, you can actually build in, like, weapon-swapping combos with this. That's... intense. I kinda dig that. And then if I swap to that, that swaps me back to my sword, or it should. Uh, I'm out of PP, that's why. Hold on, hold on, hold on, I wanna test this. I need to understand the mechanics. Boom! Sword! Yeah! Okay. So, kinda digging the combos of this. Not sure I like it more than, you know, Bouncer, which is, like, the best class ever, but this is, uh... Yeah, I'm kind of liking Hero. It's it's quirky, for sure, and I, I kind of like the built-in weapon swapping mechanic in the combos itself. I wish I had a better weapon. <laughs> wish I had a lot of better stuff. Like, that was one of the problems with Bouncer for me. Is I play a melee sword Bouncer. And to play one of those really, really exceptionally well, one of the things you have to do is basically have 
one of every weapon element at least. It, it helps if you have like one of both weapons in every element as well. You have to basically go for a rainbow build if you want to play your character really well. And I didn't want to deal with that mainly because I think swapping, uh, swapping your abilities was kind of bad. But if you can like inherently build that into your actual like character build and you know rotation so that you don't have to manually do it that's uh that makes something like that a hell of a lot more appealing to me personally like what i would do is i i just play my bouncer with light weapons because 80 percent of all the important enemies are all weak to light it's just you know let's let's make this uncomplicated but oh you don't get the kind of um anti-grav abilities that gunner get i I do wish we kind of got the the anti-gravity of the gunner, because gunners can freaking fly. Like, they can just perpetually stay in the air if you let them. But we don't get that with Hero, and I'm not sure I care for that. So this will definitely take some getting used to, because I'm, I'm not a ranged person. I'm a melee person by trade, but uh, I am trying to learn good old uh, gunner. So I'm not sure how this is going to work necessarily with that, but uh, it's it's kind of rewriting a lot of things that I'm kind of having to unlearn on the fly. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I do like the large gold bursts from the guns. I'm going to have to try and get a talus. I, I th think I might have one. I don't have tech yet, so we'll, we'll head back to base once we're done and we'll see. But so far, it's interesting, it's quirky, and I'm liking some things about it, not necessarily everything, though. Ooh, interesting. It does look like you can kind of continue the, the train of the hyper bullets with standard attacks. That's it, standard attacks drain your PP. I, I think that's a little peculiar. There's no way to really gain PP other than just sit here and twirl your guns for, you know, reloading or whatever. And that I'm not necessarily super amicable for, because that means you've got basically time where you can't deal damage. And as a bouncer, that's weird to me. Like, bouncer is literally doing damage non-stop. That's, that's what you do. You know? But we're, we're slowly figuring this out. What did I achieve? Curious. Acquire the title Positively Insatiable. Okay. Like, I, I want that just for the experience on my main, but at the same time, I could give that to my alt. I could get my alt up into, uh... Good old... Hero as well. Now, it should also be noted that, again, I started at level 1, and because of that, I'm currently playing with, uh, no gained abilities. Like, I'm literally playing basically vanilla hero. I have skill points, have not used any. And because of that, you know, the real nuances and, like, the, the powers and augments that your character can get from the really fun abilities, those are a bit out of my reach for now. I, I don't have, like, weapon gears or anything. I just really wanted to test, like, you know, what what's the weapon difference? The damage output's impressive. I, I do like how rapid and how damaging the SMGs are. Like, that, that was always something I liked about them, but if you can do even more rapid damage and a lot of damage, which is usually a trade-off for rapid damage, you know, it's, uh, uh, I'm amicable to that. But again, having to, like, unlearn being able to permanently fly out of your opponent's range just to uh, continue to smack them in the face not necessarily a thing I like. So, I, you know, it, it's it's a class of compromise, I think. It's it's cool, it's got some interesting tech, but it's, it's definitely going to require you to unlearn some stuff, and if you're particularly fond of one of the classes that this thing kind of tries to amalgamate, you might not necessarily be 100% on board, and you're probably going to have to reteach yourself some stuff. Because at least equipment-wise, well, this is kind of gunner meets hunter meets, you know, tetcher. It 
conceptually feels a little bit different because even the weapons that you're already used to kind of have new rules you need to follow. And this is not a bad thing, that keeps it interesting, I think. I definitely can see myself playing a whole lot of this. Uh, I'm not sure I'll be doing that before I cap out Bouncer, because again, I, I like Bouncer. Also, because this is hero class, it's kind of a funny class. It has no subclass, you can't equip one, and it itself cannot be a subclass. And I believe it's the only successor class that follows that rule. You can take the second sub six, you can take all the other successor classes and make them a subclass, but hero, hero is a mono class, which it has issues. I mean, that's kind of the reason why it initially had these stats of basically three classes, was to kind of get around the fact that you couldn't have a subclass, but then they realized, oh, that's too much, so let's, let's nerf that. And then people were kind of sad and stopped playing heroes so much. I, I do think it's a little gimmicky, um, so far. Not that that's a bad thing, if, if you're enjoying the gimmick, that can be quite a lot of fun, and I am enjoying the gimmick. I should swap back to my sword, but I, you can tell I'm really, oh, wait, 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 hold on, I'm gonna do this right like a proper hero, boom, sword, through combos, gonna take a while to get used to that, that, I think that's gonna be the core of figuring out how to be a really good hero, is weapon swapping mid-combo, if you can do that, I think you have the ability to really get around how good the hero could potentially be, I think, anyway, but, uh, yeah, this, this is fun. I'm, I'm having fun with Hero. I'm still more interested in trying Phantom, <laughs> not gonna lie. Phantom seems to be, I think, kind of more my style. It seems more like it would be useful to support a Bouncer, which is kind of my ultimate class of choice. But I will say, as a fun little, little gimmick, I could see myself playing Hero for a while on and off. But I still want to see how Talus works and how swapping between Talus to other stuff is going to work. So far, yeah, it, it's pretty fun. I'm, I'm not going to say it's my favorite class or anything, but I can see the appeal. I, I definitely think this is probably up there for one of my favorite classes. So far. But my favorite classes are like Bouncer, I guess Gunner, and maybe Tetcher, if, if that... You know, I, I like Bouncer, that's, I, I would be happy as a clam if I could just double Hunter, or Bouncer stats and not have to use anything else. I mean, my subclass for, for Bouncer is usually either Hunter or, or, um, Summoner, and that's just for stats, which is really not the way you should play a subclass, you should really go for Synergy, more than just stat bonuses, but... I do appreciate that the melee chunk of hero does seem to be able to keep itself in the air pretty quick like uh he can kind of fly like that like he, he doesn't have the movements of gunner but he does have the ability to support himself in the air and that's i think always a big plus um i don't know i i kind of want to see how etwa plays like i'm i'm not super into the whole playing defensive support but my weapon of choice has always been the soaring blades so any w class that really specializes in soaring blades is probably more my style i think but boom we got some we got some money let's hey we got a talus sweet okay 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 so we're going to play with Talus a little bit here in this sterile environment. We don't need anything fancy. We got Ilgrans, which is my Talus ability of choice. Jet Wheel. Deploys a Shuriken, which spins up slicing targets. Shuriken remains active if you swap to another hero weapon. Interesting. That that could be very useful. So that's that's interesting. What's the standard attack? I'm, I'm going to replace Ice because I don't use it. Uh, talus action. Uh, we'll keep Ilgans up there because it's, like, literally the one, uh, magic attack I use. I might want to keep a rest as well, but, uh, let's see. Re Houndblade. That's the one we already talked about, I think. Nope. It's all about shurikens, I guess. Tracks targets. Interesting. 
And what have we for Fallback Gambit? Leap backwards and fire Talus stunning targets. Hold the button to switch. Okay. So let's see. Uh, well, first. Boom. Swapped. Okay. Okay, so Talus is, um... It's, it's basically Talus. Again. From what I can tell, it's Talus anyway. Although... Let me try something. Talus does not seem to actually deploy your, uh... Your magic anymore. That comes straight from you, which I think is... That'll take some getting used to. So your standard Talus attack is just throwing your Talus. It doesn't seem to actually hold anywhere. It doesn't seem to deploy any sort of magic. So that might actually be a massive nerf. Okay, so Talus now has a melee attack. Um, the combos for this class are going to be really confusing. Okay, so that's... Can I use that in conjunction with... Or is that just sort of like a trap type of thing? It does seem like the taluses are more made for traps, sort of like how you see in battle mode, where people just block off areas using taluses. That seems to be what this is mostly, is like a trap-based build. Our power of Y is more shurikenness. I do have an, like some sort of connection to this. I wonder about that. Hold on. Because if we get away, there there was like that weird tether between that and me. And I'm thinking that might be like a proximity thing. Like if you get close, you might get like a boost to your magic or something. Let's see if our, our Talus equipment's ability says anything. So it was Jet Wheel, I think? Or was it this? Uh, Talus action, no photon art. That doesn't help me any. Okay. I'm guessing I'll have to learn about this in the or a character build menu, maybe. Okay, so let's see what this whole thing is. So that's jump forward and swap. Okay. So, so far, everything looks like it's basically based around swapping these abilities as needed to create the most incredible combos you can come up with. Um, I'm okay with that. That sounds cool. That does seem to be the core focus of this class, which is fine. Let's return to the lobby, and I will take a look at the uh, level up guy and see if we can get ourselves some better understanding of what these abilities actually are. And then we might close up after that, because I got some stuff I gotta go do. I gotta finish my review, which is an hour freaking long, so <laughs> go watch that when it's out. <laughs> Ends at episode 4. Gets released a week episode after episode 5. I am on the ball. <laughs> if I mentioned I've been working on this for almost two months, this is uh, this has been a huge undertaking. So if you do like this stuff, definitely support the show through the PayPal and Patreon. Seriously, I work a lot, and this has been an even huger undertaking. And you know, getting some support would be good. But what can you do? Uh, learn class skills. Okay, let's see if we can figure out heroic boost. Okay. Builds potency over time. Potency decreases if taken damage equal to percent of your HP in a short time. So, basically, the more you hang around, the more damage you do, I think. But every pers like, for every ounce of damage you take, a percentage is taken off your attack. Now, we need at least plus one to move on, so we'll sink one skill point into that anyway. Uh, not going to bother looking at that stuff. Hero mag... Hero Mag's interesting because this is based around attack. As a bouncer, I have a mag based around dexterity, which is not normally how you build a mag, but for stuff like Braver, Bouncer, and I think Phantom, that works. Uh, fortunately, I did start with a mag I centered around attack, so I just swapped, so that's fine. Uh, converts initial attack performed with weapon action into perfect attacks. So basically, your first attack on an opponent is always going to do more damage, that's cool. Sidestep strikes performed after sidestep dodges are strengthened. So this is sort of like, from what I can tell, it's it's sort of like a boosted parry counter type thing. Hero time. Focus can be used when maxed out. Boosts total attack according to number of times damage is dealt. 
Okay. That seems like the important character class like ability right there. Increases potency of normal attacks and weapon actions with sword. So that's just straight damage boost. There's also a few at the bottom of the page I've checked already. Healing weapon bonus. Increases potency with sword and... Okay, so I'm guessing this boosts your healing? When you do damage? That's, that's interesting. Okay, hero time finish. Allows you to perform hero time finish when you press during hero time. That sounds like the uh, showtime from Gunner a little bit. Recover's focus gauge when you perform dodge during hero time. Okay, so this definitely feels very, very gunnery, which I'm okay with. Uh, increase boosts the increments by which focus gauge, so this just boosts your uh, focus gauge. Boost increment, which increases as you attack far away, so if you attack at a range, you get boosts. Uh, if you use... Okay, so this is basically melee, gunner, um, tetcher. This just boosts your ability to fill up your bar for your special, just depending on what you specialize in. You can boost all three if you want to be that way, and given how this class works, I think to optimize it, you probably would want to. Uh, gradually boosts your... After you start a quest, that just seems like a no-brainer. You'd want to grab that. Uh, hero Encore Jump. So basically this is like a third jump. Come again allows you to move to a marked shot up to two times. I don't know what that means. Uh, when a Talus is equipped, temporarily maintains a charge when you perform a dodge. Okay. TMG Attack PP Preservation. Reduces the amount of PP. Okay, if you're going to play Twin Machine Guns with Hero, this is a must-have, I think. Uh, reduce Spirit Bolt Charge Time when you perform Sword Action. Okay. Enables Double Charge Weapon Actions for the Sword, so your charged attacks can basically get a bigger boost. Uh, reduces Damage Taken, that could be useful. Hero's Will. Uh, this is basically Iron Will, but for the Hero. Uh, I know a lot of people talk down Iron Will, as it is sort of a randomized thing. It's it's a 1 in 4 thing if you max it out. Um, I Honestly, Iron Will is why I'm tempted to go back to Hunter as my subclass instead of Summoner. Because, honestly, Iron Will is just too good. It's, it's saved my ass so many times, even though it is random. Reduces the amount of PP used by techniques. If you're going to play the Tetcher Chunk of Hero, that's a must-have, I think. Victory Shout draws the attention to you. So this is your, your sort of Berserker aggro ability. Precision Attack increases critical attack rates against weaknesses. Total Defense up, Total Attack up, PP up, HP up. Okay, so these are your standard things. These are all available at the start, by the way, because these aren't actually attached to the actual, like, uh, ladder of abilities. That's really, really cool. So I think, if nothing else, uh, attack increase to maximum, plus 99. Well, well we're going to grab that, obviously. Uh, hero time finish. I'm going to grab this, because that's how we unlock everything else. And, uh, yeah, so we got that, which is, uh, basically a thing that allows you to boost your attack. So I'm thinking we run back into a level and see what this is like. I was gonna call this after looking at that, but I'm, I'm genuinely interested. So, let's, uh, let's run back to, uh, an expedition. We will set Forest Hard, and we'll take a look at what this Hero Time thing can actually be. Because I'm genuinely curious how this is going to work. I, I would like to see how this works. Because, uh, you know, I, I think I might be playing Hero for a little while. <laughs> I, I'm sad, too, because I see titles like, get your bouncer to 90. It's like, I would love to do that, but I think I'm playing Hero for a little while, at least. Okay, so we got uh, Laver, Azanami, and Enga. Best character in episode 4 that isn't uh, Feleg anyway. Uh, let's see. So, is that something I have to equip or is that just a gear thing? Looks like that's just a gear thing. Yeah, we got a gear up there. And I think it automatically works. So we're going to go to starting point because I don't want to go where everyone else is. Curious what this Rappy Hero Scarf is. I, I mean, I already have the regular Hero Scarf, but uh, curious... I might have to do EO's client orders. The problem is that requires me to 
party with people, which is not exactly my strong suit. Okay. So I don't need to play flashy, just need to do damage, I think. I think this might be a receive damage thing? Do I have to look at my character build again to understand how this works? Yeah, let's let's try and take some damage. Please attack me. I really wish I'd understood this a little bit better. Uh, class information. Sign class PA. Oh, it gets its own page. That's interesting. Okay, technique. Fused class info. Here's what I want. Hero time finish. Hero time. Focus can only be used when maxed out. Boost total attack according to number of times damage is dealt. You learn hero focus. Okay, where's hero focus? Is that listed here? Or is that just... Okay, so it's not telling us what hero focus is. Is... Uh, I, I genuinely don't understand how this works. I mean, it says use hero focus. Okay. I, I'm amicable to this plan. I want to use the focus ability of the hero. I just need to understand how to gain focus. Okay, so we're swapping. That didn't seem to do all that much. Go RB, swap to the guns. Oh, there we go. We boosted a little bit of focus. Is this just a matter of... Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure. It does seem to be boosting when I swap weapons. So that could be the key deciding factor in all this. Which, if that's the case, we're going to play rather dumb, but... All I'll do is we'll turn that to yellow, we'll turn this to red, and we'll turn this to blue. And I should just be able to do this the lazy way of holding one button down and uh, just swapping between everything. And theoretically, that should boost our hero focus, I think. So let's, uh, let's get this going. And see how heroic we can be as heroes. So we're holding down Y, that's, that's our hero ability. Actually, won't let you hold it down. You actually do have to basically button mash if you want to do this. That bar boosts very slowly. It could very well just be a timing thing, you know. Tied to that whole don't take damage, get increased damage. If that's the case, we might be waiting a while. This... I'm not sure... I mean, welcome to learning a new class you've never played before. Because I haven't played Hero before. I never bothered to get it in the Japanese version. It seemed interesting, though. And it does seem interesting. Like, I, I could see myself playing Hero for a while. Its weapon selection's a bit peculiar, though. Like, I... If this was really supposed to be, like, a class combination of every class that exists which I think is on paper what it was initially kind of supposed to be I would have allowed it to have access to pretty much all the weapons and like boost all the weapons as opposed to like one weapon from each of the three principal classes you know also for, for picking a character that's supposed to be sort of like a amalgam of them and only selecting one weapon of each class principle. Picking Talus for the Meiji portion is a little bit peculiar. I mean, I'm okay with that. I, I, I'm, like I said, I, I'm Talus for, for Tetcher, but it's definitely more of a weird weapon choice. And I'm honestly saying that both because I want my Soaring Blades, but also if I'm going to play with a random hero weapon, and I know this is an unpopular opinion, but I would play with the hook shots. Because <laughs> they're just such weird weapons. I'm really not getting very much focus out of all this. Can I pick up any more information from the class skills? Rook boosts. Potency builds up over time. Potency decreases if damage is taken. Okay. Damage equal to set percentage of your HP for a short time. Uh, first blood converts initial attack. 
hero mag not useful let's see focus can be used when maxed out boost total attack according to number of times damage is dealt you'll also learn hero focus which we don't seem to have any actual like proper information on how that works and part of me is, like, confused as to whether or not that's tied into the whole heroic boost of just, you know, you deal more damage over time. If that's the case, it's going painfully slowly, which might be by virtue of the fact that I haven't, uh, done too much. And I have insufficient disk space to continue recording because my review of this game is actually so bloody long, which means I'm going to actually have to download this on the back end. So anyone watching on YouTube, all two of you, I apologize for the drop in quality because uh, Twitch's quality is not as, as friendly as my actual straight recording quality, at least from what I can tell. Awesome. I, I hate that. Like the way this, this is set up is just super annoying. Also, I checked before I did this, I had more than 10 gigs. <laughs> And I have been playing for half an hour. I don't think half an hour would take 10 gigs. I guess I'm wrong. But what can you do? Hey! I'm not the only one rocking hero out here. I, I guess that's not surprising. You know, it's the new class. Everyone wants to play it. I mean, that's why I'm playing it. I wanted to see what this whole thing was all about. And someone's being a total scrub and getting hit by viz bolts a lot. What scrubs? Says the guy who's playing a class he doesn't understand how to play. Uh. Okay. So yeah, I don't get the focus ability. This is going to take more fine tuning, but I am out of disk space, so we're probably going to hurry this up, I guess. But uh, so far, kind of enjoying this. It's it's gimmicky. But I'm kind of liking how the class flows in on itself. I'm not sure you necessarily want to try and cover all three bases, though, with Hero. Because it's it's one of those sort of jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none arguments, where if you focus on all three principles of the Hero class, of course being Mage, Melee, and Ranged, you're not going to be good at any of them. You'll be throwing your points into everything and not getting anywhere with any one principle. Conversely, if you focus on one, that means that you're going to have huge glaring problems with your class as well. So it might be wise to focus on two or, or do one particular chunk of this class really well and then like dip your toe into a second as like a support option or something. I'm not sure. Really. Really annoyed. I love that my computer... Gives me a, you're running out of disk space message about 10 minutes after I've run out of disk space. Thanks, uh, Omen, you, you piece of shit computer. <laughs> I shouldn't complain about my computer that much. It, it's a good computer. It's getting a bit up there in age, but, you know, it's, it's a good computer. It didn't cost me all that much. But, that said, it sends me messages about how I'm running out of disk space after I've run out of disk space. So that's fun. So I'm gonna have to get this recording on the back end from Twitch. Hopefully it doesn't look too messed up, and I hope someone at least enjoys my first 40 minutes of faffing about as the new class, the almighty hero that's, uh, if it hasn't already, is going to ultimately get nerfed into the ground. But, uh, yeah. I'm thinking this is an interesting class. Maybe not my favorite class, but it's definitely an interesting class I'm gonna try and play a little bit more, because it's one of the more interesting ones. I I'd say, so far, it's probably my top three or four. Um, but I wouldn't say this tops bouncer by any means. That said, I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we stream every single day. Usually Animal Crossing, sometimes other stuff like this. Thinking about doing more PSO2 stuff, thinking about it. Uh, you might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel, see everything else I do, which is a lot of stuff, including soon to be a review of PSO2 when I can finish it. It's, it's very, very long, and it's taking up, like, 80% of my computer with, like, 200 hours of recorded footage. Please like that. <laughs> Damn it, it's a lot of work. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal and Patreon and support the show, because, like I said, you know, small amounts of support from anyone and anyone is definitely appreciated, especially when I'm throwing so much work into all this. But I hope you did enjoy my... First impressions of Hero, trying to figure out how this works, not understanding the 
hero gauge, we filled it up a little bit more. It, it could be the threat of enemy or, or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out as I play more. And if I do play more hero, I might stream it. Who knows? We'll, we'll see. But uh, if I figure out more of this, maybe I'll do another backup stream or something. But I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, Internet.